triple banger guys what's up bringing you something new it's not futureverse and it's not heavy metal related but it's actually looking at animoca brands and some of the crazy investments that they've already done for 2023 we're focusing on just ones that have been published that are over uh 10 million dollars or at 10 million dollars and some of them i don't really get but here we go Mythical Games is the creators of Blancos and NFL Rivals, and it runs on Mythical Chain. So something specifically with Mythical Chain that's very interesting is they already have built-in compliance. So like a lot of exchanges, they have the know your customer, and they already have a pay-in and pay-out of both fiat and cryptocurrencies, which is kind of neat. So next up is Tabby, and this is one of the ones that I don't really understand. It's got almost 600,000 followers on Twitter, but when you go check out their page, it just shows this sailor's quest, and I guess you can complete these different activities, get a wallet, connect your Discord, uh, connect your Twitter, follow for uh, an Iron Artifact NFT. But some of the different games in the ecosystem include Hello Pets and Play Bucks. And Playbucks is the largest Web3 entertainment platform in the world with shopping, gaming, movies, music, trading, and many more services. And if this is a thing that's on the blockchain, <laughs> oh, why the hell is this not in North America? Or why have I never heard of it before? So next up is Open World at 28 million. This is another one that doesn't really explain what it is. You can pay to watch a musical, but Open has developed the blockchain chat app, Super App, and apparently, this aims to be the Web3 version of WhatsApp meets Amazon. And then next up, we have Super Plastic, which you might be familiar with if you happen to have purchased any of the Bored Ape figurines. And there was an article that was published back in February that said, Vermont-based Super Plastic, the digital studio behind synthetic celebrities Janky and Googiemon, has signed a multi part deal with Amazon that brings its digital characters to be animated series in development with Amazon Studios. A first look arrangement for additional projects and a 20 million series A4 funding raise led by Amazon's venture arm. So it's a little bit more than just collectibles. They have their own IP, but it's, it's very interesting to see that Animoca Brands decided to put 20 million into them. And then next up is Team Intella, getting $12 million in innovative revenue protocol powered by Polygon. And they've launched a crypto wallet for blockchain gaming. And as you can see right away, they have the sign in with Google, sign in with Apple. Again, the, the seed phrase that you might be used to with MetaMask seems like potentially something of the past. But then they do have some different NFT collections, Early Retired Cats Club. They look like they have some games as well, EOS Gold, ERCC, uh, which is that Early Retired Cats Club, and then Crypto Golf Impact. I had to click on the cat thing, I'm sorry. And so if you feel like going to check that out, you can see there's a bunch of different activations you can click on. Stella X offers exclusive service protocols never been attempted on any blockchain gaming platform. Contribution-based reward distribution, proof of contribution, contributors, i.e. game developers and gamers can earn the native platform token Intella X token, IX, based on their contribution to the platform's ecosystem. Simply develop and earn for developers and contribute, play, and earn for users. Earn shares of the platform's revenue. Users can contribute to the platform's ecosystem and earn actual shares of the platform's revenue in the form of various digital assets, including stablecoins, Intella X tokens, and even game tokens, by staking or providing liquidity to the platform's ecosystem. Intella X offers a variety of Web3 features, which includes mobile wallet, DEX, NFT marketplace, launchpad games, and more. So this is a super short video. I'm trying to just keep them short, sweet, to the point, giving you a little bit of insight that's not too overwhelming to digest. Again, none of those really stand out to me except for the Intella X at the very end. I think Super Plastic's interesting with the fact that they are going the toy route. I'm, I'm curious if we're going to see many... Uh, collections launch different toys, but the space is getting to a very interesting point where it seems like we're kind of at the point where there's a lot of foundations that are being built and now which foundations do people get attracted to, which ones do they start using. Again, that wallet looked very, very interesting, but seeing the amount of diversity in terms of opportunities and things coming out, 
I am excited. More to come as always. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Talk soon. Peace. I mean, it's with an L on her forehead.